Trimming boats with outboard motor or stern drive. The trim angle is the angle formed by the plane of the bottom of the boat and the propeller shaft plane, whether it is an outboard or a stern drive. The angle formed can be modified by the trim system of the stern drive or outboard, which allows it to be moved closer to or further away from the transom edge. On small outboards, the trim system consists of a series of holes in the clamp that attaches to the transom, with a pin to adjust the angle. On larger outboards, the power trim, or power tilt, is used to adjust the trim angle using a hydraulic device. The stern drive, being entirely or partially submerged, also use a hydraulic system for trimming. These two systems allow adjustment of the trim angle while sailing, allowing better adaptation to the sailing conditions. This on-the-fly adjustability is important because the optimum angle is determined by the load, water conditions and will change as passengers move or sea conditions vary. When the boat is sailing in an optimal planning regime, the propeller shaft is practically parallel to the water surface. The variation of the trim angle has a significant impact on the boat's handling and top speed. A good trim should allow high acceleration to reduce the planning start time. If the trim angle is negative, the engine is positioned towards the transom. This will force the stern upwards, and the boat will tend to put the bow in the water making handling more difficult, increasing the wetted surface and therefore the friction. On the other hand, this will lead to a reduction in speed and an increase in fuel consumption. If the angle is too high, the propeller may be too close to the water surface and lose lift. Also, sailing at an extreme angle increases the intensity of slamming, reduces visibility ahead, and facilitates porpoising. How to achieve a good trimming of your boat? First step, with the engine in neutral, the engine will be entirely lowered until the trim system stops. Second step, the engine will be accelerated smoothly and steadily, trying to reach the boat's cruising speed. Third step, steadily cruising at the achieved speed, the trim system adjustment switch will be used to tilt the engine up slowly. As the engine is raised, the boat's behavior will change, the bow will rise, and the speed will increase slightly. Fourth step, there will come a time when there will be a slight loss of speed and an increase in engine revolutions. At this point, the porpoising phenomenon will likely appear, and the bow will start to oscillate up and down rhythmically. These symptoms indicate that the engine has been lifted excessively. Step 5. Lower the engine in small intervals until full speed, constant RPM, and the disappearance of porpoising is reached again. At this point, the boat is correctly trimmed and running at maximum efficiency.